Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how to do a pink Valentine's look. Okay guys, I pre-did her eyebrows off camera, but I'll put a link above so you can see how I do my eyebrows. Basically right now I am concealing her concealer. I'm just using a Nutmeg Foundation by Black Opal Cosmetic to hide the concealer. Okay, for her eyeshadow base, I'll be using Clown White by Benai Cosmetics. Now, I'll be using the Color Rain eyeshadow palette. In the first color, I'll be using the Party Drip in the crease. I'm just using the regular angle brush to place the colors in the crease. Make sure you have enough color on the brush and pack it on in the crease. My next shade will be Sauce, and I'll place that in the socket of the crease. So I'll use a separate brush to add that color. As you can see, I am pulling her eyebrow upward so I can place that color in the socket of the crease. To cut her crease, I am using the MAC 242 brush and a regular concealer that's lighter just to cut the crease. As you can see, the brush is kind of giving me a hard time. More likely, it's either the brush is too old or it's too much product on it. So I switched out my brush and got me a fresh brush. And as you can see, it helped me make a nice clean cut crease. For the next shade, I'm just using a white goldish color. I'm just using a small mouth eyeshadow brush. All my brushes will be listed in the description box. Take your time when you're getting close to the cut crease line. Then the same shade that I use in the crease, I add to the tail of the eyes. I start off with the lighter pink color, then go in with the darker color. Now just wipe all your fallout. Now I'll be using my favorite liquid liner. It's called Emuse Cosmetic. This is a very fresh brand new eyeliner. So when you're using a new liquid liner by Emuse, you should shake up that bottle a lot. It will loosen up the product even more. Then I'll be sharpening her tail by using just Black Opal Cosmetic Nutmeg to sharpen her tail. Next, I'll be using Wispy Lash to stack her lash. I always start off with a baby lash, then put the real lash on top. The lash will be listed in the description box. To prep and prime, I'm using Pond's Moisturizer and Backup Poreless Primer. For her foundation, I am using Malawi by Juvia Place. This is one of my number one favorite shadow by Juvia's Place. And as you can see, I'm still using that one foundation brush, the legendary foundation brush by Crown Brushes. That will be listed in the description box. I love the coverage that Juvia Place gives the skin. Not going to lie, it's kind of thick, but you can thin it out if you take your time. And as you can see, the same foundation I also put around her eyebrows to help it blend it out better. Now I'm just making sure that everything is nicely blended down. I just pat and make sure there's no line of demarcation. For the concealer, I'll be using MAC Cosmetics Studio Fix in the shade NW35. This is not a very heavy um, concealer. It's somewhat light. The concealer was kind of sheer, so I just added some more. I'm sorry you guys, the video had stopped, but I have pre-started contouring her. For her contour, I'm just using MAC Cosmetics Studio Fix Fluid in the shade NW58. The brush that I'm using is almost like a kabuki brush, but I'll list it in the description box. All I'm doing is buffering the contour into the skin. I felt like she needed some more highlights, so I went back and got a lighter concealer. I can't remember, but just make sure your concealer is lighter than your skin tone. If you want that shade to pop. Then I'm just using the crease blush to blend down her nose. The contour around her nose. If you guys remember my nose secret. If you don't know how to contour properly. You can always add more product. And also take a concealer and add it up the rim of the nose to help you get that narrow shape. You got to scope and move at the same time. 
Now to set her face, I'll be using Banai Cosmetic Natural Set. Natural Set is a translucent powder that can mimic any skin color. Translucent powder is a makeup artist's secret weapon. It's not the showiest or fanciest product, but it works wonders to hold your foundation in place, keep your face shine free and flawless. Next, I'll be using my banana powder to give her an extra highlight, a little boost. Using a sponge or beauty blender can help when applying banana powder. For the blush, I'm using a mixture of Juvia Place. I'll list that in the description box. All the product that I'm using will be listed in the description box. For the lips, I'm using Chestnut Pencil by MAC Cosmetic. Now I'm going to dust all this baking powder off of her. When dealing with banana powder, you got to do your best to blend it all the way down. Next, I'm using Black Radiant Contouring Palette. I'm using a crease brush to help me with the precision of where I want the contouring to be. Make sure you take your time and blend everything in. Then I use my powder brush to blend everything in. Next, I'll be gluing down some mink lashes on top just to give it more dimension. I love dramatic lashes. After applying the lashes, I'm using a mascara to remove any makeup from underneath the eyelash. For every application that I do, I constantly continue to fix, change, or rearrange any mistake or any imperfection I think there is. It's just like a hairstylist. That one curl will get curled by 20 times before they finish. Y'all do not kill me. I know I just be slapping lipstick on, but I always blend it in with the brush. The lipstick is MAC Cosmetics Snob. And for the lip gloss, I'm using MAC Cosmetic Dreamy. For the waterline, I'll be using the NYX Pencil. I'll list that in the description box. I always use a cardboard when it comes to shading underneath the eyes. The same color that I put in the crease is the color that I'm putting underneath the eyes to smudge it. Next, I'll be using my foundation brush just to remove any fallout from underneath the eyes. Then I'll be using my Urban Decay Mascara. I love this mascara. It's full of juice just to pull out her bottom lashes. Last, I'll be using my Urban Decay D Slick Setting Spray to help set her face and also it help my bronzer pop out. She looks like a pink Barbie doll. So now I'm going to add a little bit more setting spray on the cheeks of her bone just to help the bronzer to pop out. So the bronzer that I'm using is from Juvia Place. I'll list that in the description box. As you can see, the setting spray helped the bronzer to glow. Then I use a crease brush to run the bronzer up and down the nose. And last, I do my final touch up by using my foundation brush to go all over the work to make sure it's nicely blended. For the inner corner of the eyes, I'll be using NYX Pearl White Pigment just to give it an extra pop. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. And please comment and let me know what you think about this overall look.
Thank you. I love you guys.